Two Action News has learned new information about a Metro Atlanta murder that President Trump used to make his case for strengthening border security. In Georgia, an illegal alien was recently charged with murder for killing, beheading, and dismembering his neighbor. Police say the suspect killed his neighbor. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live in Clayton County, and Taisha police still don't know what prompted this murder. For the first time today, police told me that there was no evidence of a robbery, no evidence of a dispute, and no evidence that the suspect and victim even knew each other at all. The suspect is inside the Clayton County Jail right now, and there is an immigration hold on him. Today, when I sat down with the DA, she was surprised to hear that the president even mentioned her murder case. I was unaware that the president was going to mention the case. However, what I think is important to know is I've been in training on Mexican drug cartels and human trafficking. Clayton County District Attorney Tracy Graham Lawson said she's not commenting on the 30-foot wall President Trump wants to build on the U.S. southern border to improve border security. But she does believe that the illegal immigrant the president mentioned, Christian Martinez, who's accused of murdering his neighbor Robert Page and dismembering his body, was part of a Mexican cartel. This killing bears resemblance to those types of murders. I covered the murder back in November, and when I sat down with the victim's wife, Lula Page, she was more concerned about what police say the suspect did than how Martinez got into this country. When I went by the family's home to get a comment on the president's speech, they told me they have no political position or comment, and they're just trying to get through this tragedy. Democrats don't believe that building a wall is the way to solve the border security issues. Make no mistake. Democrats and the president both want stronger border security. However, we sharply disagree with the president about the most effective way to do it. The DA is still working to figure out what the motive was in this case. And even to this day, the suspect has not said a word to investigators about the murder or a motive or anything. And the murder was back on November 8th. We're live in Clayton County. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Taisha, thank you.